I'm joy. This is sadness. That's anger. What? This is disgust. Uh, and that's fear. Ah! We're Riley's emotion. Ah! Brain freeze! Ah! Ah! Hang on! <laughs> so, Amy and Pete, thank you so much for talking to me today. First of all, love the film. Thank you. And, uh, well, I guess welcome to Sydney, Australia. What yeah. are your thoughts so far? Well, the people are really great and uh, open and, and complicated, but it's no New Zealand. Thank you, Amy. I was waiting for that. Is my accent there obvious? Uh, you know, all I know about New Zealand is everything that I saw in the um, series Top of the Lake. So I imagine that you're all really strange and you live in this remote area and you kill people for fun! So I take it you won't be coming to New Zealand anytime soon I'm, then? I'm moving there. <laughs> it feels like home. Why not? Um, now this is rather embarrassing. All my travels to Sydney, it's a three hour uh, plane ride and I lost some baggage on the way with my questions for you guys. So oh. I did a bit of DIY last night, had to find some cards, so I went to the local supermarket okay. and it's actually a birthday oh, card for a nana. nana. And then I had What's to... The what does it say? And then I had to copy and paste oh. the words over top of it. There, so there is no That's that kind there, of New so. Zealand spirit that Australia doesn't understand. <laughs> are you talking about how Kiwis are weirdos? Well, yeah. Yeah. You're looking at one right now. I mean, now. one would even accuse you of losing the luggage on purpose for this moment, but no way. No way. I wouldn't do such a thing. Now, just a massive congratulations and thank you so much for the movie Inside Out. Loved it. Came out with a few tears and I was laughing the whole time as well. Here we go. All right, open. Hmm, this looks new. Think it's safe? What is it? Uh... That is not brightly colored or shaped like a dinosaur. Hold on, guys. It's broccoli! <laughs> Pete, you've made things like uh, Up. Ready? Ready! And uh, Monster Zinc. It's showtime! <gasps> well, people at home, can you tell us what you do? at work? Like, what's a normal day for you like? <laughs> That's a yeah. good question. I don't know if I can. I mean, it really depends on where we are in the phase of the, pr of the process, but I either sit in front of a keyboard or talk to other people, uh, mostly talking to other people. Yeah. Sounds suspicious, doesn't <laughs> it? Yeah. Actually, a director doesn't do anything. They just go around <laughs> and talk to other people. This place is huge. Imagination land? No way. Dream Productions? Rainbow Unicorn. She's right there. I loved you in Fairy Dream Adventure Part 7. Okay, bye. I love you. How many people would work on this film? Uh, at the very beginning, there's only about four or five of us. Yeah. And then it hits a peak of 270. Whoa. And then it goes back down. Do you know them all individually? Or? Yeah. Although a lot of times it's a little weird because the only time I work with them is in a dark screening room in front of a screen. So they come up and they sit down and we talk about it and they leave. And then later I go, I don't actually know who you are. You know, Again, this sounds suspicious. <laughs> so Amy, then you're one of those 200 and something called people. Yes. So when do you come into it and what do you do? Well, I kind of came late in the process. I kind of jumped in the last two, two and a half years of recording and it's, you know, the process of being a voice talent on animation is the best because you, someone says, here's this person that we've thought of. We want you to bring it to life, help us bring it to life. And then we're gonna take it away and you go live your life. <laughs> and then we'll tell you when it's done. And it's like, and then you get the most beautiful package, the a present you couldn't even imagine. It's awesome. Joy. Yes, Joy. You'll be in charge of the console, keeping Riley happy all day long. And may I add, I love your dress. It's adorable. Oh, this whole thing? Thank you so much. The whole experience from beginning to end has been like a total gift. But what do you do, like, if, if somebody gives you a part and you're like, this doesn't make any sense? You just go ahead and record it, or do you? Do you... Yeah, I mean, I used to do that. I don't do it anymore. Yeah. Because uh, I don't need the money. <laughs> <laughs> so rich. You, you just complain? Yeah, I mean, okay. no. <laughs> well, you would be one of the funniest people on the planet. And is there room for improvisation? Yeah, we, we, we improvise a little bit. I mean, there's so many funny people in the film and so much comedy. But, but really, the film you see is the film that was in the script for the most part. And uh, it was so great to have Pete as a director because it was constantly adjusting in very gentle ways about how to make the character of Joy, which could read as a, a crazy, annoying person, <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> just modulating her because yeah. she goes through her own journey. She gets sad and, you know, she has to feel those feelings too. These are Riley's memories. They're mostly happy, you'll notice, not to brag. I wanted to maybe hold one. What happened? Sadness. She did something to the memory. Let's Wait. Go. The core memories. Ah! No, 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 no. Ah! Can I say that curse word now? When I go to the movies, I sometimes look at my watch and I'm like, oh, mm. is this movie oh, oh, was it, oh, yeah, is it almost finished? Yeah. I didn't look at my watch once, oh. and, I, and when it was starting to wrap up, I was like, no, no, this can't be over. Adam, 
That's so great. Honestly, I loved it that much. And you know, you look like the boyfriend from the boyfriend generator. You kind of do. <laughs> you do, doesn't he? They're falling on top of each other. Yeah, yeah and they're all, yeah. That, um, that's, that's a big deal with young people to just keep their attention for more than five absolutely. minutes. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> no dessert? Oh, sure. We'll eat our dinner right after you eat this. Ah! Right, right. Here comes an airplane. Ah! Oh. Airplane. We got an airplane, everybody. <gasps> Pete, please tell me that there's going to be a sequel. Come on. I don't know. Uh... I'm going to say yes, there is going to be a sequel. <laughs> yeah. Pete's working on it now, and we're recording it next week. Puberty is a little scary for me. Because <laughs> I was thinking, like, maybe in the sequel you could, like, try to attack the emotions in your stomach. Like, you know, how those gut feelings you it's have. It's interesting you said that. Someone else said, like, the feelings in your heart, too. But I don't know how different they would be. Right? Do you yeah, think they yeah, would be different? Yeah, I know what you mean. I'd love to see a film that takes place in my own stomach. <laughs> but, you know, I'm fascinated with my own. <laughs> and um, with Pixar films, um, there are Easter eggs scattered all through the film. Mm. And when I first heard of Easter eggs, I always think of the chocolate eggs that you get at Easter time. But the wee hints about up-and-coming films, mm -hmm. is there one in Inside Out? Mm. There is. Did you see it? No. Okay, so at the beginning, Mom is talking to Riley, what was your favorite part about the drive out? And she says, oh, I like that time with the dinosaur. The dinosaur is actually a character from the next film we have coming out, The Good Dinosaur. No way! Yeah. I'm going to have to watch it again. I didn't even know that. That's the first time I heard that. Yeah. I didn't know there were... I didn't know... Excuse me, one second. There's another Pixar film coming out? We're closing down after this. I kind of thought this was the only one you guys were working on. And there. Perfect. This is the circle of sadness. Your job is to make sure that all the sadness stays inside of it. I've got a, a wee game that I'd like to play with you, oh. and you can tell me uh, how you would feel about this and what emotion you would have. So uh, you've got the house to yourself for the whole day. How would you uh... feel? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of just like, Ooh, I know. Shut down. You know what? Um, <laughs> you would think I would say joy, but I think it would probably be sadness because mm. I would miss everybody. Yeah. Is that what? weird? Yeah. This one's a little bit weird. Your oh. scientists have perfected time travel, mm. <laughs> but the first person to go will be your dentist. <laughs> How do you feel about that? And you've both got great teeth, so I don't think you'd be too concerned about that. I would be. Um... I would be happy for my dentist. <laughs> so I'm trying to picture, if the dentist is going to go forwards in time, learn more about dentistry and come back? Yes, or possibly. This? Oh, okay. Well, then you I can look at that's it a good thing. Like. Oh, my dentist is Canadian, and you know, I feel like they wouldn't screw it up. Canadians and Americans, they kind of got that same rivalry as the Aussies and the Kiwis. There's no Lovely. rivalry. We crush Canadians. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, guys, uh, that's all we've got time for. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. That was a pleasure. Group hug. You too, Anger. Go, 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 go. Don't touch me. Amy, good to see you again. Hi, Adam, good to see you too. Oh, you're my name. You're so nice. You too.